Hello everyone, this is Dari here. Hope you are well. So the purpose of today's video is to show you a practical example how we use the whole moving average and the hiking ashi trading system. Okay, so for the benefit of those who are just joining this channel, watching this system for the first time, I will quickly describe how to use this system. So you have the whole moving average, you set it at all moving average 50, 50 period, and then you add Akin Ashi to your charts. Um, so this is a daily chart. This is Euro dollar daily charts. And how to trade it is you match colors. So you watch out for the color of the HMA where it is blue. It has to match with the uh, Akin Ashi as well. So um, here we were here in our last video uh, on this daily chart for Euro dollar. So we were looking at this particular candle. So we were thinking if this candle actually closes up once and then we have this HM is still blue, then that is opportunity to go long on the market. However, if the candle still closes red, we'll have to wait. So what has happened since then was that we have the last four bars all closes red. So what that means is the colors are completely different from the HMA color and it means no trade. So in the last four days on Euro dollars, no trade because we've seen the colors different to the whole moving average. So no trade. I'm sure you will have seen it on your charts that no trade for the last one, two, three, four, five candles, five days of trading. There's no trade at all. Okay. Now I show you USD Japan as well, but it's a different scenario. So we were here, the last candle was here, we were here. So we're looking at this candle. So if this candle closes uh, red candle, if it closes red, that is, uh, it's a bearish candle, then it means that it now agree with the color of the HMA. So you see we have been coming down and we have a rally up and this candle closes red and bearish and matches the same as the HMA. That's opportunity for us to go short. So it gave us the opportunity here to short USD JPY pair. So at the close of this candle, we short the market. You can see this is our trade here. This line is our trade. So we enter this trade here. And where is our support level? Support level will be at the last swing high. This is the last swing high. So because prices came down and went up and then continue to go down. So here we place our stop loss here just about one peep above the swing high so our stop loss is here and where do we place our profit target it will be placed at the last known support level uh, there's a big support area on this on this chart here uh, you can see this long bar here and we have two or three other long bars. So it's an area of support. There's, uh, there's no particular line that you can call this support line. So your profit target could be anywhere around here from this support area to the end of this uh, long bar. So I have put this target here uh, just to make the uh, both a risk and reward ratio to be at least one one 
Um, so currently, let us measure what is our risk. Uh, so if we look at where we enter the trade here, uh, we are risking how many pips? About 104 pips. And what is our gain? Almost the same, 105 pips. So we are risking 104 to gain 104, 105, almost one to one ratio, which is uh, okay. Um, so I will leave my uh, target line here and wait until we hit these targets. Okay. Uh, there's no fixed rule as to where your target must be. It must be around the support line. So currently we are about 70 pips in profit. So sometimes you might see that uh, getting to your target is, is uh, taking uh, a bit of resistance. Maybe there's a support level here that is very strong and you can take your profit at that point. Or you might wait until you get the whole 104 or 105 pips. Um, so uh, I will keep my profit target here, and uh, hopefully the market will touch here before we reverse back. So this is the trade, and this is how we use this uh, system. So you watch out for the, the color. So when the color is blue and there is a reverser against that color and you go back to the same color then you, you open a position similarly red here the color is red and you're having red candles suddenly you have a change in color and as soon as you go back to the red color you enter a short position so that's what we did here and that has helped us to uh, at the moment get about 70 pips but we are going for our 105 pips guys hope you understand the system uh, it is very uh, simple to follow uh, i'm using a daily chart here uh, you might try for our chart but uh, daily chart is good for people who just want to trade for five ten minutes every day and they don't want to watch the market for example once your broker open a new day a new chart you will spend 5-10 minutes, look at the chart. Do you have a trade? If you have a trade setup, you put it on, you, you, you put a, a market order on, you set your stop loss, you set your profit target, and you forget it. So it will take a while, either it, your profit is touched or your, uh, your stop loss is touched. So if you look at it, this position has been opened on the 9th of August. And today is the, I believe, the 10th of August. Today is the 10th of August 2017. So the trade was actually opened a day before. The trade was opened yesterday. So uh, as you can see, the candle, the first candle here was yesterday. Uh, the trade was not closed yesterday uh, it's still open today so it might take three candles even maybe three or four candles to close the trade but that shouldn't worry you so far your trade closes in profit okay guys if you have questions uh put it in the comment section i'll try to uh, answer it for you uh, and uh, i will be doing some more interesting videos shortly so i would like you guys to subscribe to the channel and then I will do more videos. Hopefully, we will chat again. Okay? I will be uh, reaching out to you very soon. Thank you for watching. So, I will be signing off now. It's Darek.